Morning guys, so uh, today I'm going to be taking you through the Randall RT100. I've seen a few videos on YouTube of the 50, the 503, but not many of the 100 and not many at all really. Um, so here's a close up before I start getting into playing. Just have a look, it's fitted with all electro harmonics apart from I believe one JJ uh, in the AT7. So it's got 46L6 EH in the power section and electro harmonics 12AX7 EH in the preamp and as you can see just on the there it is just about if you can see there there's an AT7 in the last position anyway um, and there we are it is a oh it's a Ruby sorry not a JA HG as I'm running it in the UK and it was uh Possibly a US model. I have to run it with a step down voltage converter to 120. Uh, for the demo, I'll be using the 14 Zor. I'm going to have a play with the grind and the bad monkey. I am using my wireless. Um, don't care if you think that's going to affect the tone. I don't think it does from my experience. Um, I won't be using the TC today, which I do have in the effects loop for delays and reverbs. The amp has pretty basic controls, clean channel, two gain channels, uh, with I think the red being a British and a blue being an American. I'm sorry for the dust on this, I did clean it the other day, it had been in storage for a long time. Um, no presence or depth controls, just a reverb and a master volume. As far as I know, the blue light is a standard factory cab, uh, factory setup. The cab is... Randall 4x12 fitted with Jaguars. Quick look at the rear of the amp. Nothing special going on here. Just bug standard foot switch. Series effects loop with the loop level, which gives a few dB boost. I think it's 6 dB. Uh, 4 and 8 speed chrome outputs and easy access bias adjustment points. First up, I'll be using the LTD C401 fitted with the EMG 8160. And then secondly, I'll be using the Ibanez on label. Also with 8160, this one tuned to drop A and the LTD in drop D. Okay, apologies for being so far away from the amp. I originally recorded it a lot closer so you could see what was going on, but uh, it was way too distorted, so I've moved the mic away for a bit. Um, let's start with a clean channel. Not really a clean player, but uh, see how it goes. That's game's crystal clear there, the bright switch is on. Gain is halfway up, which gives it a bit more level. Level's quite low. tuned in to watch me play clean channel really badly so I'm going to move straight on to overdrive one I have no boost I'm going to go with everything at noon apart from the level the level is max because when I was using it with the TC it needed a high channel output um, and, a, and a low master I used to use it with the master full and just to just the channel when I was using it on its own but with the TC I switched it around I'm going to continue using it like that anyway there's definitely not enough gain there for my liking so I'm going to go three quarters there's a little bit of fizz there and I've noticed when you increase the master that fizz sort of gets absorbed in the main sound so I'm not too fussed with that but it is a bit bright so not the trouble back of it <laughs> Sounds that a little bit dry, doesn't it? So let's go for the tube screen with a classic setup. You can see level max, bass slightly down, treble higher, and no gain. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
darker sounding guitar. It's got the same pickups in it, EMG8160, and it just has loads more body to it. Um, it's not quite as honky sounding perhaps as the LTD in drop D. Um, we'll start, start where we left off. <laughs> I will say the strings on the 
PC are a lot newer. Uh, these are quite old, so they're a little bit dead. Um, maybe I need a bit more gain. Maybe that'll sort me out. And a little bit more grind. Let's go for a bit more grind.